the Baltic states, this is the Russian Federation, Belarus, which is basically a Russian vassal state for the Russian Empire, the emerging Russian Empire, or the reviving Russian Empire. We see Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. Lithuania is the strongest of the three. So we could see here that the battle plan is for Russia, once it consumes Ukraine, to do a pincher movement to secure the border here to move. This is where Poland is most vulnerable. So we're looking at this partial solar eclipse event, we could see that Russia would then move through here, through the Estonia into Poland and have secondary troops reinforce this larger movement here. So that is the type of battle plan that is now being revealed by different intelligence sources that the Russians have bigger, bigger plans for Europe. Now, it's implied in the astrology. Will this all absolutely happen? I don't know, but I'm convinced Russia is not going to just stop at Ukraine. Now, of course, like Putin could be assassinated. These things can happen, right? The Russian cabinet may decide we're not going to go further than Ukraine. Okay, we don't want a war with the United States. We don't want to fight a real war, right? We don't want a war with NATO. And then that might change, right? But it looks like this is the battle plan. So when people say it's going to stop at Ukraine or they just want the Donbass and that's it, it's over, that has to do with the mainstream establishment media that needs you to keep spending money on your credit card and continue to pay taxes and be compliant and continue to vote Republican and Democrat the way you've been voting for the past 50 years of your life without question, not questioning the candidates, not questioning anything, and keep reading the New York Times, watching CNN or Fox News and accepting everything they push down your throat. That's their goal. Meanwhile, things are blowing up everywhere. And people who actually live in Estonia and Poland, who actually reach out to me, say, William, I think we're going to have a bigger war. And here's the reasons, right? And I'm like, yep, I believe you. So this is the big thing right now. And I don't know if uh, Romania, but certainly when I look at the charts here, look at the chart of Lithuania, which is the chart here in the center. And then I look at the solar eclipse of October 25th, 2022. And then the total lunar eclipse that follows on November 8th, 2022. You could see that the eclipse, this eclipse in the second wheel is directly hitting what? Making a direct hit on the ascendant of the Lithuanian horoscope. That's making a big, big hit here. And then you see the following total lunar eclipse make a hit directly on the Lithuanian Pluto. So we're seeing a number of big, big hits hitting to Lithuania. And that's why this is the strongest of the three. This is the one they have, the Russians would have the hardest time with. So we could see this is Belarus. Belarus could actually participate in this as an ally to neutralize Lithuania as the Russians make their move into Poland. This is a much easier way than going through Ukraine. And then you, right. So these are scenarios we have to look at. Not absolutely going to happen, but we have to look at them now. We have to say, yeah, this could happen at this point. To watch the full presentation and more like this on geopolitics, the economy, and world events from an archetypal and mundane astrological perspective, join the Global Transformation Astrology Membership. Go to gta.williamstickevers.com. Become a GTA member today.